Joining us now from the Senate Health Committee, we're bringing in Senator Mark Wayne Mullen. Senator, it's great to have you on again, sir. What do you make of the Trump? You, what do you make of the Trump comeback? It's pretty stunning. Who would have thought this in 2021? Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have thought he was going to run again. In fact, uh, Jim Jordan and I uh, met him in the in the White House right before he was le leaving, and I, I would have swore he wasn't planning on running again. The idea that he is—it's exciting. The party's exciting. Uh, I don't think anybody's cleared out of primary field faster than President Trump. Uh, it's it's a, and, and the people are responding to it. You know, there's a lot of people making the fact that. Uh, Nikki Haley got 25% of the vote, but everybody that's been in office knows as an incumbent, which that's why President Trump is viewed as an incumbent, um, there's 25 to 30% of the party that'll never vote for you. And so he, he, he's out punting his coverage by far. And it's exciting to finally see us unify around our, our next president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. So Nikki Haley is still not yet endorsing uh, former President Trump. Uh, she has dropped out of the race. A lot of debate about whether her voters will go to Biden anyway. So it's now a rematch between Biden and Trump. Let's watch former President Trump. Here's what's happening. He's unifying the nation. He's electrifying Democrat voter bases, pulling them to him. Why? Because he's talking about policy. Senator, let's get your reaction to this. Watch. We're going to make sure... We are, we are going to do it right. We're going to have the greatest economy ever in the history of our country. We're going to top what we did. We're going to become an energy center of the world. We are ready to become energy dominant, and they stopped that. We're going to do things that nobody thought was possible. You know, we hadn't done our second phase of the tax cuts. When we did the tax cuts, we had no inflation. Inflation is destroying the middle class. It's destroying everything. He's the worst president in the history of our country. There's never been anything like what's happening to our country. Okay, here's the breaking news. The White House today will not say whether President Biden will debate Trump. You think they're not going to do that? No, there's no way they can put uh, Biden on stage. Listen, he has a hard time finishing his own press conferences the way they are. He gets lost on stage. And this is no, uh, I'm, not, I'm not hitting him because he's a Democrat. I'm hitting him because he, he has, his own, his own DOJ came out and said he has cognitive issues. Uh, they, were, they were concerned by it. The FBI that did a special counsel investigation had concerns by it. So there's no way they could possibly put him on stage with Donald Trump and compare the two. The energy levels aren't even close. And what is he going to defend? He's going to defend his, his secure border? No. We have the worst border national security risk going on in the southern border and northern border now than we've had in the history of the United States. Uh, we have inflation still at 17 percent plus. We have energy costs over 30 percent. And here you have a business guy that's running against a career politician. There's no way when you start talking about inflation that they add up. And, and it, I love the idea that President Trump mentioned energy. He, see, this is a business guy that understands that energy is the backbone of our economy. Without reliable and affordable energy, you can't have a reliable and affordable economy because everything we create and everything that gets delivered is based on energy cost. And so you have to bring down the cost of energy to bring down yeah. inflation. And that's what President Trump is talking about right and there. And U.S. energy, which the president undercut with multiple executive actions and regulation, is a national security issue, too. So when you see what's happening with Trump... That's right, Liz. When you see what's happening with the former president, his base is electrified now. It's galvanized, and he's pulling away from Biden. The polls show this. The economy, right. the single most important issue. We're talking independent voters moving toward Trump, working-class voters. Trump is building a coalition, taking away Democrat voter bases. He's almost doubling the black vote for a Republican candidate. 46% of Latinos now say they'll go for Trump. Here's why. Paychecks grew faster than inflation under Trump. Average weekly earnings up after inflation, nearly 9% right. under Trump. Home ownership increased more than 2%, record 66%. The Atlanta, Atlanta Fed, watch this, Senator, says more and more U.S. workers under Biden, Atlanta Fed says this, more workers are not seeing their pay go up at all for the last year, Senator. That's the most number of workers in two years. Right. 
It, you look at this. It, you look at the far, numbers even farther. You, you realize that eleven hundred dollars more this month that it costs you underneath Trump. That means that the average household is spending eleven hundred dollars more based on the Biden economy and the inflation than underneath President Trump. They, you know, and I expect tonight Biden will go out there and tout about the jobs that he's created. And this is how ridiculous politicians are. They don't realize that those jobs are not being created, but those jobs are being recycled. What they need to show is how many people left a job and then they got rehired by somebody else. And so we're recycling the same employees, but we're not bringing more people to the workforce. You know, it's about, it's, it, Senator, you make an important point here. Every election is about turnout. You don't, right. see, the, you don't see the excitement for Biden at all. And, and in not. other words, Senator, you see it going in reverse. Show the numbers, show the protest vote, the boycott vote against Biden. It grew. Nearly 19% boycotted wow. Biden in Minnesota. 13% in North Carolina, nearly 10% in Massachusetts. He's getting a protest vote in swing states. Have you ever seen anything like this no. in, in, in any time in, in no. modern U.S. history, ever? No, not, since, not since Jimmy Carter and Ronald Reagan. Uh, because it, because at Jimmy, under, under Jimmy Carter, we had about the same type of economy. Underneath uh, Biden, you're having the same type of economy, too. And people are reacting with their wallet and out of fear because they know the southern border is also a huge national security. And people aren't saying if it's going to happen. People know it's when it happens that something that, that happened on the southern border by someone being released or being uh, let into the country is going to, to attack the United States. We don't like to know that. We don't like to think about it, but uh, the American people know this. And so it's your wallet and it's the way you feel at home. People feel more unsecure at home than they ever have in the lifetime that they've lived in America. Wow. Senator Mark Wayne Mullen, thank you so much for joining us tonight, sir. Thank it's you, It's very Liz. good to see you. We we'll hope to have you back on again soon.